That seems kind of sus. And let's add custom items to Suspicious Sand. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses, such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles, and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Alright, we found some back in Jalo Most Born, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding custom items to Suspicious Sand. Now, at first glance, you might think, oh, it's gonna be as easy as using the add item modifier over here, global loot modifiers, a bing bang boom, and we already have some custom loot in the Suspicious Sand. However, it actually is not as easy because there's like one or two tiny things that are very important. The first thing that's very important is that in Suspicious Sand, even though multiple things could be generated via the generated loot, right? If we add a new item stack over here, it would have multiple different things. Only the first thing that gets added is actually going to be spawned out of the Suspicious Sand, meaning that any loot you put in there is actually going to get discarded immediately. So for this, we actually need another class. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the add item modifier. I'm going to drag it into the loot package over here while holding control. It's going to duplicate this particular file. And I'm just going to call this the add sus sand item modifier because this is exactly what it's going to do. It's going to add an item to sus sand. And now here's the critical part. In the do apply method, when we add things to the generated loot, what we want to do is we want to say if context.getRandom.next float, not next boolean, but next float, there you go, is let's say smaller than 0.5. This would be 50%. This is way too high, okay? What you'd be looking at is sort of somewhere around like 17, 12, 11, 10%. That is roughly what you want to get over here. 50% is definitely too high. This is for demonstration purposes only because otherwise we might just like have to go through like three different desert pyramids until we find our custom loot and that's not necessarily what you want. In theory, the best thing to do for the percentage over here is to go to the external libraries to our trusty old net Minecraft client extra 120.1 or whatever your version might be data minecraft loot tables archaeology and then for example take a look at the desert pyramid and basically count how many different entries there are if you add one particular entry you add another one and then you just do one divided by the number of four entries including your own and then you get roughly the percentage that you should put in here i know it's not going to be 100 percent accurate but that's the best way that you can do this and what you want to do inside of the if statement is you want to say generate loot dot clear and then here you want to say generate loot add a new item stack once again of this dot item so we first have to clear this and then this one no longer needs to be called so you can basically see inside of the if statement we're first clearing the loot that gets generated and then adding our own custom loot in there once again 50 percent is way too high don't do this don't don't put the 50 percent in here because that's going to definitely ruin other people who might also add stuff to suspicious sand it's going to be a whole host of weirdness but now that we got that we can now go to the mod loot modifiers over here and just basically duplicate this one this is the add sus sand item and then we're going to call this the add underscore sus underscore sand item. And this is, of course, instead of the add item modifier, this is the add sus sand item modifier targeting the codec over here. And there you go. And now to add this, once again, we want to go to the data gen. We already have the global loot modifiers done last time. And what we want to do is we can basically just almost copy over or duplicate this one over here, the metal detector from jungle. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the metal detector from suspicious sand over here. And this is extremely important. Instead of this being a new add item modifier, this is now a new add sus sand item modifier. Extremely important you keep track of this and you add this. And then the loot table condition is the same, right? The loot table ID. Now for the resource location, we can once again go to our trusty net Minecraft over here in the external libraries. We're going to call this the archaeology slash desert underscore pyramid, making sure we write archaeology correctly because that is a crazy word and I actually have not written it correctly. There you go. Archaeology. Now I've written it correctly. Double, triple, quadruple. I don't even know. Octuple, chap. That this is written correctly because it's incredibly easy to make a type over here. But now that we have this, this is actually all that we need. The big thing over here is basically that you need to clear the loot before you add an additional thing and that you have to put in a custom percentage chance on how often your loot is going to get added. And then you can simply run the data. This is going to once again generate the loot modifier file, which we'll see in just a moment. Let's just let the run data run through and then we can see the JSON file. Oh, right, there we go. Metal detector from suspicious sand. And if we take a look, this is the add sus sand item over here, the type. We're adding this to the archaeology desert pyramid and the item is going to be the metal detector. Absolutely awesome. So let's jump into the game and brush some suspicious sand. 
All right, so we find ourselves back in Minecraft and we already have a suspicious sand over here. So let's take a look. And there we go. This is actually already going to be our metal detector. That's awesome. So you can see this is definitely a custom item added. However, just to be sure that we didn't mess anything up over here, we should also definitely double check whether or not in another one we're going to get a normal drop. And there we go. We get a shard over here. That is absolutely freaking fantastic. And there you go. That is going to be custom items added to suspicious sand. And that's already it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom crops. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.